Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Up World Gaming. Bring you Supreme Ruler 1936. Now, I wanted to start off by saying that right now, well, yesterday it started. The Steam Summer Sale is on until June 30th. So every Steam game right now is dirt cheap, under five dollars, ten dollars, whatnot. So a Supreme Ruler, all three games are cheap as well. So if you want to grab that, go ahead. I think I have the price right here. Here it is on my iPod. Uh, 2020 is seven dollars and 49 cents. Cold War is four dollars and 99 cents. I don't know how that's cheaper than 2020. 2020 came out in 09. Cold War came, uh, I think, two years later. No, three years later. And then there's 1936, which is 26 dollars 79 cents. Yeah, that's a uh, still kind of expensive, you know. Pretty good deal actually. So I bought that yesterday. Got my hands on it. So I already have a game loaded here. And uh, it's a mod actually. I modded right away. End of an era. That's what it's called. I've also got uh, another one here. It includes World War 3. I haven't tried that yet. I've tried the end of an era mod with the US. So far, it's uh, very slow actually because of the overhaul and massive units around the world. So the game actually kind of slows down. And uh, that's not quite enjoyable. It's, it's playable, but it's very, very slow and the units take days and months or whatever just to get to that position. So that's not very enjoyable. But anywho, I'm going to start with uh, Georgia here. I want to post a link down below if you guys want to uh, grab the mod for yourselves. And uh, currently, I'm at war with uh, the breakaway regions of South Ossetia and Abkhazia. I might also declare war on Armenia. Just, you know, quick gameplay of 1936. I really didn't get deep into the gameplay with uh, the US yesterday, so this will be my first time actually getting into real war. So let's see how this goes. Uh, Cold War, I wasn't a big fan of it. I played a few weeks of it, but... Ah. What this mod includes uh, a bunch of uh, terrorist organizations, guerrilla organizations, organizations I said never mind uh, never mind never mind never mind uh, RPF what else NPFL even got the cartel as well that was a surprise by me in the Cold War version they had the FARC uh, I think it was the Mujahideen and Al Shabaab and that was it but this is a uh, this is pretty actually pretty cool to be honest. You've got all these uh organizations, terrorist organizations and uh guerrilla militias or whatever. And that's pretty fucking cool. Too bad you can't play play as them actually. That's a sad part, but I really won't be playing any of these uh organizations. What else uh any new nations included? I haven't checked that out yet. Let me just scan the area. Oh, by the way, this is uh, 1991. It's uh, it's when the Soviet Union collapsed, so this is where it takes place. Panama Canal Zone. Egyptian Suez uh, canals, Canal Zone. What else we got here? Tamil Elam. Cambodia is still part of Vietnam. You've got Chinese, Tibet, Uyghuristan. Oh, what's this? Inner Mongolia. Wow. You got Kim Il Sung. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Russia. Oh, that's right. The U.S. and Russia still have bases in Germany. When the Berlin Berlin Wall collapsed, then you got Bosnia. It's also uh, the Bosnian War took place as well. I remember that now. Serb Republic, Serb Montenegro, Serb Kosovo. Wow. A surprise. That's pretty cool, actually. Well, let me just uh go straight to war. And I'm pretty broke right now. 
so that's not good. I gotta take you guys out. Go. And as you can see, the game is actually really slow because of this mod. My computer is good. Let me mind. Let me tell you that. And uh, it's actually gonna take days or even months just to get there to that position. What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh! What the hell was that for Russia? I'm not at war with them though. Uh, ignore. I don't want to declare war with them. That's a bad idea. Dude, I don't know why they're attacking me. I also had to uh, enable reverse clicking mouse or whatever you call it. I was showing the options. Where is it? Controls. Here it is. Reverse mount button selection. In 2020, you uh, used the left click. And in the Cold War and 1936, you used the right click. I don't like the right click. I mostly go with the left click. Much quicker for me. That's just me. Oh, you got Russian conscripts that are down. Ah, oh, this is... Yeah, I'm getting 60, 30 FPS, but it's just the game and the damn mod. I also have Fog of War enabled as well. I don't think that helps either, so don't try doing that. The weather system is a pretty annoying actually I don't like it not a fan of it I also have the 3d terrain off I'm not a fan of that either I would rather go with like the classic style 2020 there we go back in Cold War Supreme Lord Cold War this was annoying. I wanted to like close this, but now thank God they uh, enable. They have this minimized tray here. That's pretty cool. Nothing there. Come on. I've only got conscripts. I don't know even. I don't even know if I have a infantry view. Let me check my reserve. Conscripts. I got a few supply trucks and uh, T-55 models, T-62s, and that's about it. No air units, no naval units, none of that, just line units. Oh boy, yeah, this is not going well. What is this, pl what's this place? Well, I'm not even going to try pronouncing that, but that's a new place I've never heard of. Oh, Transnistria trans is there. I remember them. From uh, the Cold War. Oh man, this is going to take a while. You know what, no, Russia's gonna keep sending uh, tanks and infantry units, so I'm gonna end it right here. I wanna switch to the original uh, campaigns or scenarios of 1936, so I'll be right back, guys. And welcome back to 1936. Now, this is an original uh, scenario for 1936. This is the, uh, what, what year is this? 1936, the road to uh, the war, or whatever. Playing as Italy, and this is much better, it's much quicker not slow and everything I'm currently at war with Ethiopia so uh, let's just get the action on oh that's right left click <laughs> look at that that's better that's what I want oh we got more units here that's right I need to turn that off as well I don't like that where is it at where is everything at Shit. Here we go, 
initiative. I have that off all, all, at all times when I play. I like to have control. Mind you that mostly every na- there's uh, not a lot of nations you can play as. Mostly uh, every nation is a colony right now, especially in Africa and Asia. Oh, back, 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 back. What am I listening to? Where's that coming from anyway? Artillery is very useful. I'll give it that. In 2020, they are not. I also don't like the yellow uh, small blocks. Those are just units from around the world. I mean, yeah, you can have fog of war on, but I always have mine uh, disabled. Hmm. What am I, what's going on? I'm getting a lot of crap here. Ah, pause, damn it. Peace with Ethiopia, huh? Sorry, Ethiopia. Reject. I don't like that either, just... I'll show you again. Agree. And the game keeps going. I think you could turn that off. I'm not sure. I'll check that out later. Cued. Uh, all right. Pause again. Blah blah blah. Democracy established for Paraguay. Support. All right. Let's keep going. Ethiopia has not got, has got nothing. So it's gonna be relatively uh, quick. Oh, that's right. The capital of the land. Shit. I thought that was the capital, but I didn't check, and it's right all the way over there. A live stream will happen next week, guys. Keep your heads up. And nope, it's not 1936. It's 2020. Don't know what I'm going to live stream about, though. I'm not looking forward to the German Empire yet. I'm taking a break from that one. I'm focusing more on world annexation. That's what I'm trying to get back into. Oh, God. Units down there? Oh, damn. That's nice. I've got Somalia. Well, yeah, Somaliland. And Eritrea as allies here. That's good. Cavalries. Got naval units. Alright, let's bring him in, huh? Get over here. Get, get you back here. Better get you out of there, bro. Oh, no fuel. Damn it, he's dead. Whatever. Sorry, man. I only got a billion dollars, and that's it. I can use cheats. That just looks weird. I'm uh, sending out tanks now. Oh, they got a few my units. There are there's a few uh, new sound effects as well when uh, they're at war. It's pretty nice. Fuck China. It's a spy here. Why is that? Man, I don't even know what's going on here, man. Shit. There's a lot of shit going on. I just need to take a uh, Ethiopia and end this part. Only got about two minutes.
Oh, they got garrisons, damn it. Oh no. Something bad happened. A riot. The government in Nicaragua has been overthrown in a coup d'etat. Wait, what? Coup d'etat by their military. Uh, condemn? I'm not sure, man. Somebody tell me in the comments what that is. Coup d'etat. I never heard of that. Oh, we got this count. No, oh, here comes another one. Oh, sweet. Oh, go away. No, wait. Go, go, go. I don't think I have fuel. Alright, now I do. Keep going. Nice and steady. Got to deal with the uh, cavalry and artillery. Three garrisons, and that's about it. Not bad. Where are my air units? There they are. I can bring bring them later. Hmm. Hmm. Just wondering. All right. Lag. Sweet. Come on, I keep shelling them. Oh, let's go for another minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill. Where's the capital at? Right there. Alright, let's go there. That is a baba. It's mine. Oh, what's that? And there goes Ethiopia. Sweet. Well, what is all this? Merchant ships. Alright. Well then, there's the gameplay for 1936. Uh, like I said, all cheap. All Supreme Ruler 3, all Supreme Ruler games are all cheap right now. So if you want to go buy them, go ahead. And uh, yeah, I'll upload another Supreme Ruler 2020 versus tomorrow. And I'll see you guys some other time. Subscribe and like.